Okay, so um, DMB, as almost 200 year old company, is in the business of facilitating relationships between businesses to help them grow. Um, as you know, technology has become more and more modern, businesses are ever more looking to integrate content and data within to their workflow. So it's just the natural evolution of DMB, to be honest with you, to ensure that we continue our path of growth and also uh, help our customers to embed our content into their systems uh, wherever they need it, whenever they need it. The, the changes in the marketplace, I, I think there's a couple of mo the most significant ones are around both, you know, the advent of ecosystems right now, there's far much more competition than there ever used to be from less traditional sources. Yeah, um, individuals, small businesses can develop applications, uh, whereas previously it was really the domain of uh, large businesses with large technology shops. Um, I think it's created uh, far more uh, innovation specifically around how content can be consumed and used, um, but it also means from uh, an incumbent's perspective, we need to look at how we make our content um, available to that community and APIs is the approach that you know, currently you, you have to take, right? The business transformation for DMB started, digital transformation really started, I'd say, from our customers um, uh, and how customers want to consume content from us rather than a stated objective purely from a DMB perspective to actually go down the digital path. Um, we have had API solutions in place with our customers um, for over 15 years. Um, so it's not new to us, but the technology as it has become more modern has meant that it's far more easy to access that type of capability for far more smaller and therefore far more, more businesses globally. Um, so we've, uh, we've had to have a focus more on making our content easier to consume and the technology more suitable for small and mid-size as well as large companies uh, rather than only having large complex enterprise digital services um, and, and really over the last three to four years that's been a significant focus within uh, Dun & Bradstreet. The challenges that DMB has faced has really been twofold. One is around the operational side of things, um, probably the easier of the two um, so long as you have got uh, support from you know, your board and from your CEO to make the right levels of investment in both the technology and the support infrastructure around that. Uh, and, and DMB is well on its path to um, having a very modern set of capabilities um, in the marketplace from the operational perspective. Uh, the cultural one is, is more significant because effectively you're, you're changing a perception of, of risk and uh, appetite for risk, I would say, from moving in a company where we pre previously would have always owned the end customer relationship to potentially having ecosystems where uh, customers consume our content through partnerships or alliances, um, which is, is a different business model than we've had previously and one which we're still working through. Um, DMB uses APIs for two primary purposes, both are external facing. Um, we use APIs to power our um, partnerships and alliances uh, relationships um, with companies like Salesforce.com, which is one of our uh, largest relationships we have in terms of uh, a partnership or an alliance globally. Um, we also use them for supporting our direct sales channel for customers that want to consume our content within their own uh, applications and workflows. Did we? Um, did we take a decision to build versus buy? A absolutely. We, in the past, had always built our own API um, services ourselves with our own technology environment. Um, the overall objective of DMB's current API strategy is to radically um, improve the speed of response uh, of those APIs to unlock far more um, opportunities for growth of our company and for our companies to um, be able to consume our content um, in a more real-time way and we felt that partnering with uh, Apogee was the right solution to enable that strategy to be confidently delivered. Uh, over the past three years DMB's uh, revenue and uh, customer acquisition has grown um, more directly in the API space uh, than our other product set. Um, so we're starting to see customers certainly uh, embrace that method of, of consuming content from us. Um, I mean, data has been the bedrock of DMB 
since we've existed. Um, you know, we can only do our job if data is available and can be accessed easily by our customers. Um, I think the digital um, environment has unlocked that data to more customers, has allowed it to be used in different ways. So where traditionally you may have been able to look at uh, reference data and make decisions manually, we're able to embed that data into automated workflows. So as an example, um, as price comparison websites have become more prevalent, um, DME content can now be uh, used to power uh, companies that are pricing insurance policies online, whereas using the more traditional approach that wouldn't have been uh, able to be done. So it's just unlocked many more um, opportunities for content to be used in uh, modern ways. Uh, the, the advice I'd probably give is to make sure that you are uh, ready with the rest of your infrastructure. Uh, you know, one of the learnings that we have definitely had has been that the API strategy, whilst challenging, um, is dependent on the rest of the infrastructure to support it. Uh, why do I love APIs? I think because they're so flexible. Right? Instead of having to build a product for every, everything you want to do, you can allow anyone to build any product.